is Deborah Johnson, and I'm a senior from Lincoln Park High School, and this is a poem about America. <laughs> I watch her walk down grocery store aisles with the dignity of a queen. Her warm magentas and ocean blue scarf wraps around her face, and I'm wondering if we've become blind. Lately, all we see is black and white. I'm wondering why we cannot look beyond the fabric. The fabric of assumption. The fabric of domestication. The fabric that is blinding our eyes more than hers. I see him walking under street lamps, and the wind is whispering accusations. His hood lays like a noose around his neck, and I imagine his mother kissing him in the morning, telling him to walk slower than standard because he is living in a double standard world. My headphones are playing a little too loud. I listen to too much Chance and Cuddy. His headphones are playing a little too loud. He listens to too much Chance and Cuddy and all eyes are on him. Indian women continue to wear bindis as burdens on these streets, where the blues, grays, and blacks mean America, and the reds that stand out a little too much are a little too bold. There are black boys with black hair and black eyes, and eyes watching every single nod of their little black heads taking five steps back, because the black rhythm in their feet just might be dangerous, just might be contagious, just might be courageous. There is acceptance for all, for all of the workers walking in single file lines on these sidewalks whose last names are never Patel, Garcia, or May. For those who are willing to break their bones and bend their backs, pushing their heritage inwards to fit this mold we call the American dream. For those who are willing to rip their child's mother tongue out of their throats and pour the English down in spoonfuls. And if you are not American enough to hold your child down while the bitter sweetness of freedom trickles down their throat, do not worry. America is understanding. That is why we took these natives who walked on these sidewalks before the sidewalks were even built, melted them down till their bones screamed America, because to be American is to be happy, and to be happy is to be like us, to walk like us, to talk like us, to pray like us. There is no dignity in your language. Your phoning sounds phony to me. There is no dignity in the way you dress. Foreign is falling out of every single seam. There is a woman walking down grocery store aisles, and a boy walking under street lamps. And I wonder when we'll realize under the hoods and her jobs, all they are is a woman and a boy.